Hello, Scruffy fam. The weather's getting nicer, you're hitting the range, but you're not hitting anything. How about clean your rifle? All right, guys, how you doing? Joe here. Um, so as the weather's getting nicer, more people are heading out to the ranges. Uh, shooting, some people got new rifles, some people have the same old trusty rifle they've had forever. Um, and when I've been at the range these last couple times, uh, I actually, this last couple days ago, I was out at the range, I'm shooting, the guy next to me was just having a fit. He was not happy. Um, and so I'm like, hey, what's going on? And he said, he's had this same rifle for five years. He puts 20 rounds through it before deer camp every year, gets it sighted in, goes to camp, will do two or three shots when he gets to camp, and then, you know, if he actually gets something, shoot one, two times. And he's done that for five years, puts it in the safe when he's done. I asked him, well, do you ever clean it? He's like, nah, I never do any of that stuff. Okay, had my range cleaning kit. I was like, hey, do you mind if I take a look at it real quick? You know, and he's like, sure, I'm super frustrated. So I sent some carb break up down the barrel, scrubbed it a few times, ran a few pipes, it was nasty. Just quick few things, made sure it was dry, gave it back to him, a little bit of oil. He shot it and all of a sudden it's shooting good again. He's like, what did you do? That was magic. I'm like, all I did was I ran um, a couple patches through it to break up some of the, the junk in the barrel. I mean, you should probably clean this thing. He's like, oh, I just don't have the time. And I find it fascinating that people that own firearms that don't clean them. And there's some people that think that you need to clean your rifle every time you go shoot. Um, and there's some people that never clean them. Well, I was in the military for a long time. And we would put hundreds of rounds through those things. And then we'd come back, clean these things down to where you could lick it and be fine. But the reason we did that is we were firing M4s that were gas operated and just had so much carbon and nasty stuff on them that by the time you're done shooting four or 500 rounds, it'd be jamming, it would just all over the place. So you had to keep them that clean. So now, all these years later, as I'm looking at bolt action rifles and hunting rifles, honestly, you can probably go several hundred rounds before you clean your rifle, but if you have a new rifle and you're shooting it and it's all over the place, a couple things are happening. One, with a new rifle, um, you're breaking in the barrel and there's a lot of people that have opinions about barrel break-in, but you're putting copper fouling and filling in grooves from the machining and the rifling and everything. You're doing that every time you shoot. And as you shoot, you clean the barrel, shoot, clean the barrel, you're, you don't want a lot of things building up in your barrel because anything that impacts the bullet as it travels through the barrel is gonna take nicks and pieces out of it and it will be doing this through the barrel. You don't want it doing that. You want a smooth pass as it transitions through the rifling. So you wanna make sure that that stays clean. Well, if you're firing a semi-automatic weapon, you've got a lot of moving pieces in there that as you're shooting gas, dirt, grease, everything is getting flung around, okay? If you're laying prone in the dirt or even on a pad and you're shooting and you've got a break on, it's kicking up dirt and dust in the air and settling back on your firearm. There's all kinds of things that happen like that when you shoot. Now, based on where you live, based on how you shoot, if you're sitting on a bench at a facility that you're rifles never touching the ground and you know you don't all you're doing is putting a few rounds through at a time you honestly can probably go about 100 to 500 rounds depending on what you're shooting and that's where the discrepancy is depending on what you're shooting you can get away with not cleaning it and not seeing any change in accuracy now if you fire heavier magnum type rounds there's a lot more powder a lot more discharge a lot more carbon that's being pushed out of there and with the popularity of the PRCs, like the 6.5 PRC, the 300 PRC, the 7 PRC, those are magnum loads. For those of you who don't know, those are magnum loads. So when you're firing those, you're getting a lot of buildup. 
Um, I have a 6.5 PRC and it amazed me after shooting 50 rounds through that thing just how dirty it was. Um, but things like this SKS, you know, this is a semi-automatic rifle that fires corrosive ammo. You're going to want to do this after every range trip. If you've got um, an M4 type weapon, uh, a carbine that's a semi-automatic gas or piston, either one of those, uh, when you're done with a range day, if you're shooting 100, 200 rounds, it's not a bad idea to break that thing apart, give everything a good wipe down, rub a couple patches through your barrel and call it good. If you don't do that, it's going to build up over time and it is going to impact your accuracy. Okay, It is absolutely going to impact your accuracy. Um, there's different levels of cleaning. Okay, And the reason I tell you to do this first is if you're going to take the responsibility of owning a firearm, you should know how to field strip it and you should know how to do general maintenance. General maintenance. Running patches through the barrel, wiping off your bolt assembly, making sure that the top sides are wiped down and clean, free from dirt, debris, and grease. If you do that, your rifle is gonna stay in good working order your lifetime, okay? But if you don't, and you neglect that, and you don't do it, say you go to the range, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times, and you don't do any wipe downs, you don't do any of that, you're gonna start getting into a point where you're gonna get significant enough carbon buildup that you're probably gonna to wanna to take it to someone else to clean it because the amount of time it's gonna take is pretty intensive. Uh, I will tell you that one of the, the leading things that gunsmiths do is clean firearms. <laughs> When people say something's not working, I, I want to say 70% of the time, 70 to 80% of the time, actually, the weapon just needs to be cleaned, okay? Uh, and we will charge between $50 to $100, depending on where you live and the level of cleaning that, that would do. What I'm doing for this SKS right now is probably about a $75 charge for cleaning, okay? So if I was going to do this for someone, it'd be about a $75 charge for to do what I'm doing. Uh, if I'm going to take this and disassemble it all the way, like take the trigger mechanism, take the magazine, take everything apart, um, and then put it in a sonic cleaner, then we're talking $75 to $100 for something like this. Uh, so if you guys have invested the money and time into purchasing a firearm and going to the range, one of the things that can help you is making sure that you keep it clean. Uh, learn how to do a field stripping, to do basic maintenance and basic cleaning, and I guarantee you do that, your rifle will last your lifetime and probably your children's lifetime if you keep that up. And you won't have to send it to a guy like me who's going to charge you quite a bit of money just so you can get back out to the range. So, guys, uh, I hope you like what you're seeing. A lot more content coming. The weather is really nice. That means I'm going to the range. And, of course... I got a bunch of new optics on things, so we're going to give it a try. All right, we'll talk to you later. Have a good one.